This villa you see was owned by Sophia Loren before 1974. At least it is claimed to be so. This is one of Varosha's most luxurious houses. This area is a military zone. I can only get so close to this house. This is a restricted zone located on the island of Cyprus. The name of the region is Varosha. The part of the city of Famagusta outside the walls. When Cyprus became an independent country in 1960, Turks and Greek Cypriots lived together in Famagusta. While the Turks lived in the walls, the Greek Cypriots lived in this region called Varosha. This was also the island's most popular holiday destination. Hotels with a reputation all over the world and beaches of unique beauty were in Varosha. However, due to internal turmoil, a war broke out in 1974. Following the war, Varosha was occupied by the Turkish army. And no one was allowed to enter here. There were political reasons for this. However, the truth is, until 2020, all Varosha was a forbidden military zone. In 2020, tourists were allowed to roam, again for political reasons. The scars of the war still remain in this building. Bullet holes are in the wall. This city was not repaired after the war. There are still traces of war everywhere. As you can see, bullet holes. Especially on this wall, it looks too much. This was once a luxury hotel. Now there are no tourists here. There are bullet holes and much more. There are many urban legends about Varosha. One of these myths is about banks. Rumor has it that the money in the bank vaults is still there. These coins are checked and counted at regular intervals. It is not known for certain whether this is a fact or an urban legend. However, there are many claims. There was a tourism agency here. This place was probably selling plane tickets. It's like time stopped here in the 1970s. Look at the Triton plane over there. Daily flight routes are written. Ankara, Beirut, Cairo, Istanbul, Rhodes, Tel Aviv, Athens, Rome, London, and many other cities. It must be an aircraft operated by British European Airways. I came across a video recorded in October 1974. Taken a few months after Varosha was declared a restricted zone, this video was recorded by foreign news agencies. Many places seen in the video still exist. I decided to shoot a comparison content. We're going to compare the 1974 image of the same place with the image recorded today. This place you see was a Toyota showroom. One of the auto showrooms in town. Months after the city was closed, the cars inside were still standing. There are no cars now, and this is what this Toyota showroom looks like today. Images taken in 1974 and images shot today are side by side. This was a souvenir store. Its name is Galaxy. This is what this place, where tourists once shopped, looks like today. The yellow covered phone book is still inside a store. It has 1973 written on it. We see the same places on the street again in these images, taken from a car. Access to some streets in the city is still prohibited. When you look at these streets, you see abandonment. These buildings have not been used for almost half a century. And the sadness of abandonment is reflected everywhere. This is my third time at Varosha. 
Every time I come, I see new details. I would like to show you one more of these details. Look at this. This sign is from pre-1974. Franklin Roosevelt Avenue. It says Greek at the top and English at the bottom, but the colors on it have never faded. There is another example of this. I will show you. This is the Democracy Street sign. It's like it was painted yesterday. I'm going to show you something very interesting. In this frame, the open windows on the left have been the same since 1974. It becomes clear when you put two photos side by side. Take a good look at the windows. If you look at the two photos at the same time, you will see the same windows open. This place is like a time capsule. This is the wall of a bank building. There is something called night safe. I think it works like an ATM. Those who know the details can write in the comments. Here you see the beverage bottles. Your chests are full. Maybe even the bottles are full. They've been standing like that for 50 years. This is Democracy Street. When you look up from here, you see a magnificent view. An old Toyota sign on one side, traffic lights from 50 years ago on the other. At sunset, the view is magnificent when you look at it from here. I want to show you this view. The light is coming from the opposite side. This is generally not good when shooting videos and photos. But I will try to save beautiful images for you. I hope you will like it. I think about this every time I come to Varosha. The concept of ownership is actually all about the balance of power. When the balance of power changes, you cannot even own the house you live in. If the authority does not recognize your ownership, you own nothing. That is what's happening here. Those who owned these houses until 1974 had to flee from here one day. Although property rights existed on paper, they were not found here in practice. I hope I was able to express what I wanted to say correctly.